today we are going to talk about mars everything that mars indicates everything that mars talks about multiple significations of mars attributes of mars tendencies of mars and along with that we will also learn many remedies about mars using which you can improve mars in your horoscope and can get better results out of it so the first and the foremost thing is that this mars indicates vigor strength vitality of the native so vigor strength and vitality what does it mean for the male horoscope mars also signifies the male maybe this is the particular reason that in some classics mars is taken as a male significator because of which in female horoscope it is recommended for, it is recommended to analyze mars to know about the husband this is something that i don't use in my practice by the way but still maybe it is indicated because the male principle is related to vigor however my uses of it is that if mars is powerful in a male horoscope only in that scenario one will have vigor and vitality enough to produce a child if mars is weak in horoscope then childbirth is generally difficult for the native that is the first point that we have to understand apart from that because mars also indicates the strength the bodily strength is also judged with respect to mars if mars is powerful one is bodily powerful in that scenario generally in physical fights the person is victorious and in fact small health related problems getting a little bit of wounds and you know wounds is not very harmful for the native one can sustain a little bit of physical abuse as well when mars is powerful right not only this mars aspects the 4th uh, house 7th house and 8th house from its placement whichever planet mars is situated with whatever planet in the houses are getting influenced by mars one will also have vigor and vitality related to those areas so to say if mars is connected to 7th house then the life partner will also be physically powerful and only in this case one will be able to satisfy their life partner 80% of the cases when in the horoscope of a male or a female when mars is not connected to the 7th house generally they are not able to satisfy their life partners because they are not having enough strength apart from that any house or house lord mars is connected with it also indicates that the body part represented by that house is powerful and generally people can sustain one to people can sustain little abuse related to that body part also for example if you check the horoscopes of those people who have survived one or two heart attacks and they are still healthy and fine you will generally see that mars is having a positive connection with their fourth house or fourth lord so general vigor vitality of the body as well as the ability to produce child is also indicated by mars apart from that mars also indicates commander in chief that means to say high position in your profession is also indicated by mars when mars is connected to 10th house and other professional factors only then one will be able to rise at a very high position in their professional life though it does not make one king like sun and moon but it gives one one of the very commanding positions in profession if mars is connected to profession houses when mars is connected to wealth related houses then it also makes the person very wealthy because mars is also the significator of generosity or donations right so it makes the person very wealthy and indicates that in the family members and friend circles of this native this native will have most commanding financial position you know retrograde planet is called vakra in hindi who else is called vakra mars is called vakra right so like retrograde planet gives a lot lot lots of useless wanderings and multiple results related to the house they are situated in it is also with mars a very powerful mars will give wanderings to the native that means the native can have a lot of travel either the native travels a lot because they like to do it or it is because of profession whatever be the case but a lot of travel is indicated by mars that is very certain that is the first thing secondarily retrograde planets also give multiple results related to the house they are situated in 
connected with. So you say if a retrograde planet is connected to fourth house, they give multiple properties and vehicles. When they are connected to seventh house, they give multiple life partners also. So this multiplicity factor is also there with Mars as well. Whichever house and house lord Mars is connected with, one will generally get multiple results related to that house or the significations related to that house. Right. So this is something that is very prominent. Because of this particular reason, I have seen that those people who have because Mars is Vakra. Vakra means retrograde. The person retrograde is also, you see, there is a normal motion for every planet. That is normal way of living that everyone ascribes to. Retrogression is just opposite of that, right? When the person is not following what is expected from them, what the society expects from them and others expect from them, right? The person is rather unconventional. And when Mars is retrograde, this non-conventional approach becomes very, very prominent. The person does not take the ways which the society approves for that particular matter, but the person is, you know, a different type of personality. Say when seventh house is connected to Mars, one will not subscribe to what is the general opinion about how one should be in marriage or how one should behave with their life partner, but they will have their own strange ways. This is indicated by Mars. So whichever house Mars is connected with, one will not follow the set norms with respect to that particular house. And once, you know, one will make their own path, one will make their own way with respect to the house, which is signified by Mars, which is connected by Mars, right? So this is also something that we have to keep in mind. Apart from that, Mars is also called Krur Drik. Krur means cruel, Drik means aspect. So the aspect of Mars are very cruel aspect of Mars is very cruel and any planet who is going under the aspect of Mars is quite afflicted. So one will face challenges realizing whatever is signified by that planet in the horoscope, both based on the natural significations and house lordship of the planet. Right. So the aspect of Mars is quite problematic and out of all of these planets, all of these malefic planets, Sun and Mars are told to be great malefics. In that also Mars is a very great malefic and whatever house or planet is signified by Mars, that house and planet suffers a lot. Mars is also the, Mars is also called Bhumi Sut, that means the son of mother goddess Earth. Owing to this particular reason, Mars also indicates how much time you will be able to live on this Earth or how much you enjoy the resources of this Earth. Any person who have anything to do with earth, geology, etc. That is also signified by Mars. So when Mars is connected to profession or wealth houses, it can give one profession related to geology, mining, etc. Also, because Mars is Bhumisut, a very strong Mars also indicates long life and a weak and afflicted Mars will generally indicate short life. Generally, when Mars is afflicted because Mars is the karak of violence also, it indicates that one can be susceptible to violence and I also have seen Mars signifying suicide as well. So a quite afflicted and weak Mars can also force people to commit suicide or have suicidal thoughts. Apart from that, how much you are able to use the resources of the resources, which is generally available to everyone, natural resources, how much you will be able to use them for your own benefit is also signified by Mars. Because Mars is considered as the son of mother goddess Earth, this is the particular reason Mars indicate lands also because land is naturally available to everyone allocated by government. So if Mars is very powerful, one will be able to use more of natural resources. That means to say they will have more properties and they will have access to better resources. You say they will live at a place where there is plenty water, good diversity and all of these things. This is also indicated by Mars. Though Mars is called Rakt and some people believe that Mars signifies blood also, which is not true. Mars, though it signifies bone marrow, but when Mars is afflicted and weak, it can give blood related impurities also. Generally in the horoscope of females, when there is a bad mutual displacement between Mars and Moon, 212 6 state combination between Mars and Moon, or when Mars is afflicted, it gives menstruation PCOD related issues at, as well. When Mars is creating this, it can also be very problematic in childbirth as well. So that is something that should also be analyzed from Mars. Apart from that, Mars is also known as Chitij, that means the sky. So the level at which one can progress is also seen by Mars. And generally when Mars is afflicted or when the Mars is weak, the success of the native, the progress in a profession or in any area is very difficult and is constantly met with obstacles. So remedy 
like if you are not able to succeed properly in your life or if you are not getting right opportunity at the right point of time then you should do remedy related to mars then it will open great path of success for you it will make you more successful right apart from that mars is also called a lohitang that means someone who is having body parts like iron so mars indicates very strong body parts it indicates coarse hard skin and it it also indicates that the body part of the person will be strong so this physical vigor physical strength good muscles being able to carry more weight as compared to what other people of the same age and of the same height weight can do is also indicated by a very strong powerful mars i already told you that whichever house and planets are connected with mars great physical strength related to those body parts signified by the planets and houses are also indicated right so that is to be understood now when it comes to giving physical characteristics whether it is your physical characteristic or the physical characteristics physical characteristics of the spouse when mars is connected to the seventh house when it comes to complexion mars indicates red complexion now in human generally humans are not of red complexion red complexion mean white complexion only but one should understand that Mal mars is not very tall mars is having an average height but it gives very fair complexion so when mars is connected to seventh house the spouse will be very fair complexion when mars is connected to ascendant generally the native will be fair complexion but connected to ascendant i have seen native have a brown skin tone only connected to seventh house like mars directly connected to ascendant without being in the seventh house makes the native brown complexion only maroonish complexion whitish complexion when mars is in the seventh house from seventh house he will influence the ascendant also then the native is very fair complexion when mars is connected to seventh house then spouse is fair complexion connected to fifth house children are fair complexion that is as it is so this is how it should be interpreted if one wants to do any remedy for mars or one wants to you know we are close to please mars purchase vehicle to please mars and all of that then in that particular scenario mars indicates blood red color or maroon color is also indicated by mars i have seen many instances where people generally have you know like when we were working in our when i was working in my office there was a guy who had all yellow vehicles only right and the guy was quite fortunate so many people generally purchase vehicle according to the color which is suitable to them rich people generally now those who can afford only one vehicle that two vehicle which have two three color choices only they don't have much choices as such but rich people generally purchase vehicle with color choices which makes them fortunate also right so this is to be understood apart from that when it comes to deities mars indicates kartikeya the son of shiva kartikeya murugan is indicated by mars and to remedy mars one should worship lord kartikeya in directions mars indicates south direction so you should keep south direction of your home clean if you if you want to make sure that your mars gives you good result mm -hmm. speciality related to south direction is that south direction should be kept heavy so heavy item you should keep in south directions to make your mars positive or activated this you should do apart from that if mars is connected to wealth houses then going to the south direction right or pitching someone ideas which will lead you to wealth while facing southern direction will be very good for you if mars is connected to profession houses then your office in south direction from your home will be very beneficial if you travel to south direction in the search of job in the search of employment then it in the search of gains then it will be very beneficial for you regarding the direction of the planets it is told that when one travels to the direction of the planet which is good in the horoscope one generally gains lands properties vehicles and good fortune right so it should be understood in this particular way regarding nature mars as i told you is extremely malefic whichever house or planet mars is connected with mars afflicts that planet that he is connected with because of which there are obstacles and obstructions realizing the significations of the planet and whichever house mars is connected with mars also afflicts the house because of which the significations of the house turn negative and there are obstacles related to the realization of signification of these houses in gender mars generally indicates male gender so when it is connected to fifth house it will give male children when it is connected to third house it will generally give more of male siblings now what if it is connected to fourth house it cannot give you a male mother but mother will have more male tendencies right so coarse voice short tempered 
and I have to take responsibilities of complete family, have to work, right? And be overburdened with responsibilities. These traits will be indicated if Mars is connected to fourth house. When Mars is connected to seventh house, these same traits will be indicated in life partner also. Now, in a female horoscope, the life partner should be male. So in a female horoscope, only when male planets are connected to the seventh house, the life partner is an actual male who is able to take responsibility and fulfill your wishes and desires. If in a male horoscope, seventh house is not connected to male planets, then generally the spouse is not male, which means either the spouse is not sexually, not able to sexually satisfy the native or not able to fulfill the responsibilities, etc. So the male female nature of the planet should also be interpreted in this particular way. That if in a male horoscope, if female planets or unuch planets are not connected to the seventh house, unuch planets are good in this regard that they give both that they can give both type of tendencies to the native, right? That they can give both type of tendencies, nature of both of the gender. Only unuch planets connected to seventh house is again a problem that will indicate that the life partner is unuch. Right. One unuch planet connected with other planets will balance the setup. But alone unuch planets are not good. Regarding the gender of the planets, I was saying that for a male, the life partner have to be female. Now, in this particular scenario, if female planets are not connected to the seventh house, in that particular scenario, life partner is not having any female tendencies, which can be problematic. Woman not having female tendencies will generally mean that the skin is rough to touch at, like the female is having a coarse voice and all of that, right? The female is very provocative. The spouse is very provocative and so on and so forth. This also gives you a particular hint that if the person is in a same gender relationship, right? If the male is in relationship with other males or female is in relationship with other females, then the planet of the same gender influencing the seventh house is very positive. Right to get a partner as such. So this is something that have to be kept in mind regarding elements. Mars indicates fire element. Now, what is the nature of fire element? Fire have a huge appetite. Whatever you throw in fire, fire will burn it either quickly or slowly. So the power of this fire element is that it can gobble up everything. So when Mars is powerful, one can manage everything either sooner or later. This is a very good quality of Mars. Apart from that, fire also gives light and fire gives energy also. So if Mars is powerful in horoscope, the native is very energetic. Right. Native is very light producing, right? Native guides people in society. People generally come to native for guidance and they get benefited from it also. That is one point. Apart from that, these significations, because Mars is a fire element, the rashes of the Mars also indicate fire element. And as I told you that fire gobbles up everything, any planet situated in the Martian Rashi will generally indicate that related to the significations of that planet, whatever challenges comes related to the signification of the planet, one will be, one will be very easily able to manage it. Right? So this is a very good tendency that is there with Mars and other traits of fire element. For example, fire is hot. Right. So generally when Mars is powerful in horoscope, you will see that this person's skin, when you touch it is generally, you know, hot to touch it as compared to what is the temperature of skin of other people in the same room, in the same condition. Right. So this is how it should be understood in caste. Mars is Chatriya caste. So what is done with caste when Mars is afflicted in transit, when the Rashis of Mars is afflicted in transit, then Chatriya people, those who are in army, police protection, right? In the uh, professions related to protections, these people are supposed to suffer. Apart from that, when Mars is connected to 10th house, Chatriya professions of protecting and preserving things is what the native should do. This is what makes the native successful. And when Mars is connected to wealth related houses, then in that particular scenario, one have to be very conscious regarding protecting their wealth because there are chances that wealth can be lost. This is a particular trait because of this particular reason, it is told that if Mars is connected to 12th house, then either the person will be great spend thrift. And if he does not spend his money, then cheating or other things can happen. Stealing of money can happen, right? Because Mars is Chatri and it indicates that whichever house Mars is connected with, you should protect that house because protection is a Chatriya quality. And if you don't protect that house, 
then things related to that house can be stolen, can be taken away from you. Right. So this is a particular trait that have to be kept in mind. In fact, I go to this particular extent of saying that if, if Mars is connected to seven thousand, then if you don't give much care and attention to your life partner, then some person, you say friend or some neighborhood can steal your life partner as in go in relationship with them and create issues in your personal life. Right. So this is something that is to be kept in mind. Now, Mars is also having tamasic qualities. Tamasic quality is laziness. Right. Rajas, uh, Rajas focuses on giving something and taking something. Right. Sattva focuses on only doing good to people, expecting nothing in return. Tamas, on the other hand, is the habit of gaining more while giving less to the person. Right. So Tamas makes the person very self-focused. Right. Very desirous. Where the native wants to get benefited more, but does not want to give anything, does not want to lose anything, does not want to do equally good to the person. This tendency is also indicated by Mars and whichever house, whichever planet is connected to Mars, this signification is also given to that particular planet as well. Right. So you say when Mars is connected to houses of profession, then the person himself wants to progress much in profession, is very desirous in profession, but he will not want to professionally help others. So this negative, tam Thomas is a negative tendency and this is indicated by Mars and to, Ma and to keep Mars in good shape and to make sure that Mars gives you good result only, these bad tendencies of Thomasic nature should be avoided. Eating non-vegetarian food, eating stale food, harming people are also Thomasic tendencies and as you engage more with these tamasic tendencies, the negative result of planets like Mars right, gets more activated. So like Mars and Saturn, they indicate tamasic tendencies and tamasic tendencies are bad. So as you stop you know, having tamasic traits in yourself, these planets become beneficial because these tamasic planets are also malefic planets. right? But they also indicate good things as well. So as you remove Tamas from your nature behavior character, these planets also start giving you positive results, right? In this way, it should be understood. The quality of Tamas is also transferred to those planets and those houses, which is connected to Mars. So you say if Mars is connected to Mercury, then the relatives can be very Tamasic, which are only focused at gaining from the native and they don't want to help the native, right? So this self-centered approach, is given by Thomas. Apart from that, talking of description, if Mars is connected to ascendant, if Mars is the ascendant Lord, Navamsha ascendant Lord, Moon sign Lord in Navamsha, or if Mars is connected to ascendant, or if Mars is the most powerful planet in the Kendras of horoscope, what type of body it gives to the native? If Mars is connected to seventh house, what type of spouse it will give you? If Mars is connected to fifth house, what type of child it will give you? If Mars is connected to third house, what type of sibling it will give you? The physical description of Mars, how it is. So first of all, Mars is having cruel and deceitful eyes and a type of eye which looks angry. Right, that is indicated by Mars. Apart from that, it also indicates deceitful eyes. Generally, you must have seen people who will talk much in, you know, they, they, they will do some, you know, they will say something from their eyes rather than talking from their mouth. Right, so people who use more of their you know, people who express more from their eyes rather than using words is also indicated by Mars. Mars indicates youthful appearance also when the person looks younger than their age. So when Mars is connected to ascendant, this is true to the native, the native looks younger than their age. And I have seen that whenever Mars is connected to ascendant, the native is generally flocked by people of other gender who often wants to have a relationship with them relationship with the native or want to have a company of native, these people have many friends from opposite gender, many of which want to be in relationship with the native also. In connection to 7th house, because Mars indicates youthful appearance, it I have seen that if Mars is there in 7th house and if the life partner is younger than the native, then the marital life is generally good, otherwise not. Right. So youthful appearance works in two ways. To native, it gives a youthful appearance and to others, like to siblings and to children, it will also give youthful appearance. To spouse also, it will give youthful appearance. But this youthful appearance in the matter of spouse should also be used as 
this point that if the life partner is younger than the native, then the marital life is better as compared to if the life partner is not younger to the native. Mars is also generous. Mars signifies generosity. So to make Mars positive in your horoscope, first of all, you should do, you should be generous. You should donate things very often, right? Mars when connected to ascendant makes the native automatically very generous. When it is connected to seventh house, it makes the life partner very generous, etc. Mars is also having the tendencies of bile. So being bileless, first of all, it have great appetite. Food is digested properly, right? The blood pressure is generally high. The native have problems related to boils and pimples. Native is generally very energetic. Right? These are the qualities of Mars that is present in the native. Mars is also very versatile but unsteady. Right? He often confuses between what he wanted to do and quickly changes his field and his thinking is very unstable, constantly changing. Apart from that, the speciality with Mars is that Mars is having a very thin waist. Right, Mars indicates someone having a thin waist. As told before, Mars is having average to short height, not a very, not very tall as such. The body is strong, and the native is bright, like white complexion. Because Mars indicates red color, it also indicates white complexion, right? But even when the people are witish, then also they have some brightness in their body and face because of which they appear to be whiter as compared to their real complexion as such, right? Mars have good marrow in their bone and flesh. So this bodily movement of the areas where bones are there, this bodily movement is very fluid. So things such as break dancing, etc. one can do very good if Mars is powerful in horoscope. Mars loves to wear red apparel. So as you wear more of red color, you will be activating your Mars more often. If Mars is powerful or connected to the horoscope, then person will generally like wearing red color, which will be good for the native also. Mars is very intelligent and very, very intelligent and very courageous. So courageous, so courageous that sometimes to only show courage, display their courage, they will land into problems just to say that how, just to show that how courageous or how great risk takers they are, which of course should be avoided. But Apart from that also, when Mars is powerful, it makes the native very courageous as well. Mars is great accomplished speaker. You know, when Hitler used to give speeches, people was so much in tune with him that people used to start display those type of emotions that he was trying to induce through his words. So this particular tendency that you say to people that start dancing and people start dancing, this type of charm and charisma Mars have in their voice. Mars have in his voice and whenever Mars is powerful, such charm and charisma is also present in the native as well that people listen to you and people start following you. So very charming, very inducing voice Mars have. Because of this particular reason, Mars is also a very accomplished speaker and makes you a very accomplished speaker also. Mars generally causes injury. So when Mars is powerful, one gets injured very often. Right. And when Mars is afflicted by other planets, then great injuries can happen, which can also lead to the loss of limbs as well. Right. So that also should be understood from Mars. Mars generally have short hairs, but the hair is shiny. Right. Mars is very adventurous as well. Mars loves to do adventure. Mars is very wrathful, very angry. And Mars is very skillful in hurting people, either emotionally or mentally or physically, anything. Very skillful in hurting people and generally wanted to hurt people also. So this particular thing is also there with Mars. This is also signified by Mars. Mars have very fine limbs, very fine body parts, very beautiful body parts, good shaped, good to look at. Muscular body and all of these things which we considered an epitome of body form in either male or female that is indicated by Mars, a strong Mars, a powerful Mars, a positive Mars. Mars connected with body factors, Lagna, Navamsh, Lagna, uh, moon, in, uh, moon in Navamsh is signified by Mars. Mars is very energetic and Mars is very lustful also. So as Mars becomes more and more powerful in the horoscope, it gives great lust to the native also. And here at this point, you should be very careful in matchmaking. If this person gets married to someone who is having a weak Mars, that indicates that the life partner is not having much lust, but the native is having in that scenario, what will happen? The life partner 
will want to go to you know when the native is having stronger mars and the life partner is not having a strong mars it means the native is having high libido high lust life partner is not having it what it will result into extramarital affairs and all of these things right so these small chunks of information related to mars that i am giving you can be used in multiple ways and an intelligent astrologer should use all of these significations intelligently in their benefit that also you should do that is one thing is there mars is generally very angry he have very heated nature so going into you know going get, getting into fights getting into you know verb, verbal fights with people mars does very quickly he will just escalate one thing to an altogether different level just to pick up fights with people so this particular tendency is also indicated by mars and if you want to keep your mars positive good result giving you should avoid this tendency under all conditions right this is something that you have to understand apart from that mars have a very good body and physique as such so that's very great right sex appeal what you call this is also given by mars so as powerful mars is in the horoscope generally people have great sex appeal people from other gender is generally attracted to these people because of which he will not have problems going into relationships and having relationships basically in body parts mars generally indicates bone marrow ligament inside bones so when mars is weak and when mars is afflicted the ligament inside bones can be you know can be into problem right because of which day to day activity of the person that we generally do with our bones walking and movement of bones etc this can become difficult because of which the movement of the native can suffer right so this is indicated by mars primarily bone marrow is also like if you go the ayurveda way you, we eat food food converts into bone marrow that bone bone marrow converts into semen and all of that so while in the starting i already told you that mars indicates vigor and vitality which in a male horoscope also indicates childbirth this is again signified by this particular point that if mars is powerful one have good bone marrow that means there is good production of sperm and one can have child easily whereas if mars is weak then the quality of the sperm can be weak and uh, there can be difficulty producing children as well in places mars generally indicate fiery places so if you wanted to do some donation related to mars or any remedy related to mars then it should be done near fiery places that will be good if the seventh lord is going into the rashi of mars then it is indicating that you will meet your life partner at a fiery place i told about i told to you about it that whichever rashi the house lord is going in things related to that house gets activated in those places only so if the 10th lord is going into the rashi of mars the office is generally near a fiery place etc mars indicates burnt clothes so burnt clothes it generally indicates clothes which are burnt at a particular corner but why one will wear a burnt cloth so according to me i take burnt cloth for leather leather clothes right apart from that red colored clothes and red silk is also indicated by mars so to activate your mars or make your mars powerful you should wear more of red color or leather clothes right if you want to donate clothes for mars then these clothes should be donated it will activate the mars like one can wear gemstones for strengthening the planet one can also wear clothes related to the planet that will also strengthen the planet and more importantly say if mars is connected to seventh house positively it is indicating acquiring a spouse acquiring a partner in that particular scenario if you are going on a date or if you are you know one if if you are wanting to approach someone for you know to be in relationship with you if you do that while wearing the clothes signified by mars then your chances of success will increase in metals generally people think that gold is signified by sun or jupiter which is all wrong gold is signified by mars so one can wear gold to strengthen mars one can donate gold to remedy mars etc when mars is powerful one generally have much gold deposit one have quite gold good amount of gold right when mars is connected to second house you say then saving wealth in the form of purchasing gold that saving money by purchasing gold and having it with you is something that is going to be very beneficial and right? so this is also something that have to be kept in mind regarding seasons mars indicate the summer season of may and july so 
regarding seasons i told you that whichever planet is the season should be seen with respect to d3 right so if you wanted to see the season when one will get married you should see the d3 occupied by seventh lord or venus that will indicate the season so if venus or seventh lord is going into the d3 rashi of mars that is in d3 if they are going into aries or scorpio then one will get married in may to may or july one will get married between may to july right this is the first thing say if the 10th lord is going into d3 of mars then one will generally get job in between may to july only in other months also they can get a job but the, those job will not sustain for long will not give good result to the native one will not be satisfied in those jobs generally so i should say that one will not get job in other months only in these months they will get it right so this is how it should be understood now mars signifies the daytime right mars is strong mars signifies things done in a day so generally in prashna when something is indicated either good result or bad result is indicated by mars then generally that result happens in one day right if a positive planet in prashna suppose one have asked question related to discharge of someone from hospital and the planet who is indicating positive result is either mars or is situated in rashi of mars then because mars indicates a day the discharge generally happens in the same day right so it is to be understood this particular way regarding taste mars indicates bitter taste so eating more of bitter food strengthens mars if mars is connected to second house one will like eating bitter food planet connected to ascendant also indicates what type of taste you like so mars connected to ascendant also one will like bitter taste apart from that in bhojan prashna if someone is asking you that what i have eaten then mars connected to second house or fifth house will also indicate bitter taste if mars is connected to sixth house or eighth house or twelfth house then eating a lot of things which taste bitter will be problematic for the native will create health problems to the native this is something that have to be understood now mars generally people think that mars is inimical towards venus and mercury but when it comes to planet to planet friendship mars is very friendly to venus and mercury right so mars connected to venus and mercury is actually good and to other planets sun moon jupiter and saturn mars is inimical so when sun moon jupiter saturn are connected with mars mars is connected with inimical planets in that particular scenario there will be obstacles and difficulties in realizing things as signified by mars whereas when mars is connected with venus and mercury then in that particular scenario realizing things related to mars having things related to mars will be easy and smooth apart from that in the rashis of moon cancer in the rashi of sun leo and in the rashi of jupiter pisces and sagittarius mars generally gives good result in the rashi of mercury virgo and pisces mars gives bad result and in the rashi of venus libra taurus and in the rashi of saturn capricorn aquarius in capricorn mars is exalted so in the rashi of in other rashis libra taurus and aquarius mars is generally neutral and the result of the mars should be signified by other mars should be judged by other factors now i told you that in the rashi of moon mars is good in cancer mars is good though in cancer mars is debilitated but it is seen that if mars is in cancer and well placed through the house then generally it produces raj yoga also though late in life but it produces raj yoga for sure that is something that have to be understood mars gets digbali in the southern direction southern direction is represented by the 10th house of the horoscope so if mars is there in the 10th house mars is digbali and what you should do with a digbali planet you should follow the digbali planet so if mars is digbali in your horoscope then if you follow mars we are close like mars we are colors which is signified by mars if you have your nature behavior character like mars then it will be very beneficial for you so that also you should do generally digbali planets also give profession to the native so if mars is there in the 10th house then either you will work in mars related departments or some signification related to mars will be in your profession also very strongly right so that is there apart from that when mars is retrograde mars is very powerful the retrogression of mars i have already talked about before when mars is with moon then also mars is very powerful right so in this particular scenario the result of mars is very prominent in the horoscope of the native 
Mars generally gets power in the night time. So if Mars is signifying any event that will generally happen in night time, if you want to wear gemstone or do any remedies for Mars, then you should also do it in the night time. That will be good. Apart from that, Mars in Vedas generally indicates Sam Veda also. So this Veda Lordship is generally used that suppose if someone is going to get initiated into Sam Veda, then in the Muhurta horoscope, you should see the strength of Mars. If Mars is not good, then because Mars indicates Sam Veda, the person getting initiated in Samved will not be able to do justice to the knowledge. That is one thing. Apart from that, Samved is, you know, Samved is a very musical Ved. So listening to music as a therapy is a very good remedy for Mars, which pacifies Mars and makes Mars positive also. So this can also be used for the benefit of the native. That reading some way, having some way in your home is also very beneficial and should be considered as a remedy for Mars, right? Mars indicate in Lokas, Mars indicate Earth. So if Sun and Moon are in the D3 of Mars, Aries or Scorpio, it means that the native was in pre native in previous life was also living on Earth as a human. In this life, the native is human itself. Now, because in previous life also native was a human, it indicates that the wishes, desire, lust of the native to achieve things and attachment with things will be very high, right? Because the native in previous life was also living on earth. This time also he's living in earth and this consecutive birth, right? Like this birth and next birth also happening on earth generally happens because of high desire only. So this high desire is indicated. If the strongest planet between the strongest planet in sixth, seventh and eighth house, the Drekan of this particular planet indicates the loc where the person will be born in next life. So planet in the most powerful planet in 6th, 7th and 8th house, if they are situated in D3 of Mars, that is Scorpio, then it means that in next life also the person will be born in Earth only. Now I told you that one is consecutively born in Earth only when great wishes and desires are unfulfilled and at the time of death it disturbs the mind of the native. Now at the time of time, because native is still thinking of world, worldly enjoyment and other worldly things, they get next birth as humans also, right? So this particular thing, when the most powerful planet in 6th, 7th and 8th house is situated in the D3 of Mars, it indicates that native can be very desirous and quite few of these desires can be unfulfilled even at the time of death, which will lead the native to take human birth consecutively as well, right? Between 0 degree to 10 degree in any Rashi, Mars should be considered powerful. And this power is also used to see when there will be result of Mars. For example, you say Mars is transiting through your 10th house. So depending on how Mars is for the horoscope, if it is a positive planet, it is indicating good result. If it is a negative planet, it is indicating bad result. Now, if it is indicating bad result, when this result will come? Now, Mars is activated in the first 10 degrees of Rashi. So when Mars is transiting between 0 degrees to 10 degrees, at that point of time, this positive or negative, whatever result is indicated, that will come. Apart from that, when Mars is situated in all Rashi's Aries, Gemini, Leo, Libra, Sagittarius and Aquarius, then also Mars should be considered as powerful. See, I am saying powerful, not positive. So this makes a very powerful Mars and depending on whether the Mars is positive or negative, the result of the Mars is felt accordingly. In Krishna Paksh, when the moon is in dark fortnight, at that point of time also Mars is powerful. So whatever result is signified by Mars, that is generally that generally happens in dark fortnight. You say if Mars is connected to 10th house, it indicates profession. Now if Mars is also activated as per Dasha and Tardasha, then it will give you a new job. Then when you will get this new job in dark fortnight, in Krishna Paksh, you will get it. Apart from that, if you want to wear a gemstone for Mars or if you want to do some remedy for Mars, when you should do it in dark fortnight. Why? Because in dark fortnight, Mars is powerful, right? So that is something that have to be understood. While transiting between Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, Aries, Taurus and Gemini, Mars is also powerful, right? So apart from these other factors, if Mars is also situated in these Rashis, it will make Mars even more powerful. In the third part of night, say from three in the morning up to six in the morning, Mars is very powerful. So any remedy, mantra, chanting, worship of gods, etc. you wanted to do for Mars, remedy wearing of gemstone, etc. you want to do for Mars, do at this point of time. If Mars is indicating anything, 
which can happen at this point of time, then it generally happens at this point of time. For example, if Mars is indicating a wound, attack or death, then it generally happens at this point of time. If Mars is indicating getting job, then of course no one will call you at 3 a.m. in the morning to say that you are employed in that particular scenario rather than giving result between 3 a.m. to 6 a.m. in the morning, it gives a result between 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. Right in the opposite time. But this only happens for those things which cannot happen at night. Those things which can happen at night in that particular scenario because Mars is powerful in the third part of night, it happens at that point of time only. Right? So this is something that have to be understood. Now Mars is also a hindrising planet. That means whatever result is indicated by Mars, generally the epitome or the maximum of that result is realized in last part only. Hindrising planet gives result in last part. Head rising planets give result in first part. So you say if Mars is creating a Rajya with respect to 10th house, it is going to give you position in life. But when it will give you because it is a hindrising planet in the second half of life, you say after the age of 35, 36, it will give result not before that. Mars also indicate quadrupeds or animals. So when Mars is connected to 6th house, you say it will indicate getting wounded and attacked. And because it indicates quadrupeds, it will indicate getting wounded and attacked by quadrupeds. Right? Animals. So this is how it should be understood. Mars also indicates mountains and forests. So if you want to do remedies related to Mars, doing remedy in mountains and forests will be good. If Mars is prominent in your horoscope or if you want, if you want to activate Mars, then spending time near mountains and forest will be good for you. If the seventh Lord is going into the Rashi of Mars, then generally you will meet your life partner around mountains and forest. If the 10th Lord is in the Rashi of Mars, then generally your office will be near mountains and forest. If you wanted to activate Mars, then having a photo of scenery, photo scenery of Mars, of mountains or forests in your home will be very good for you. Right? So this also should be understood. Mars generally indicates a 16 year old child. So in Prashna, when Mars is connected to Ascendant, generally either a Prashna is asked by a young boy or the Prashna is concerning a young boy, a young boy is disturbing me or something can happen through young boy, will it happen or not, etc, etc. Multiple variations can be there. But things are generally connected to a young boy. Apart from that, in horoscope also, you say if Mars is connected to 7th house, then meeting the life partner or, you know, connecting to life partner or finding life partner can happen with the help of a boy. Right, Mars indicates 16 year old. That means this particular age of this particular age between 14 to 20s, this boy boyish age is indicated by Mars. And whichever house Mars is connected with, the activation of result of that house happens through boys only. Or happens through boys. Apart from that, Mars all Mars indicate metals very strongly. So if one wants to do remedy related to Mars, uses of metal related to Mars is the most powerful, most effective remedy and metal related to Mars is gold. So wearing gold, donating gold, saving money in the form of purchasing gold and having it with you will activate Mars in the most powerful way. Right. So this is also there in gemstones, Mars indicate coral. So if you want to wear coral and that is purely to strengthen the Mars, then wearing the coral in gold will be very beneficial. Right. This also should be understood. Mars also have an upwards aspect. I have told you before also that Rashis are categorized into two categories, head rising and hind rising. So you say Leo, Virgo, Libra, and Scorpio, Aquarius and Pisces should be taken as head rising. In this head rising Rashi, 0 degree to 10 degree is upwards. Other Rashis, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Sagittarius, Capricorn, they are hind rising Rashi. In this hind rising Rashi, 20 degree to 30 degree is upwards. So if Mars is connect, if Mars is expecting any Rashi and suppose there are three planets situated in that Rashi, suppose Mars is situated in the 11th house and from there he is expecting the 5th house. This 5th house is Rashi Capricorn and it is also having sun at 15 degrees. Now, because Capricorn is there in the fifth house, Sun is going to be the Lord of which house? Sun is going to be the Lord of 10th house. Right? Because 11th house will have Aquarius and in front of Aquarius there will be... Sorry. Yeah. If Capricorn is there in the fifth house, then Mars... Uh, then Sun will be the Lord of 12th house. And because then 12th to it there will be Cancer and 7th to it will be Capricorn. Now... 
suppose sun is situated in capricorn in 5th house at 15 degrees mars is situated in 11th house now mars is aspecting the 5th house now by aspecting the 5th house mars being a malefic planet will it delay childbirth will give abortions etc in female horoscopes because it will indicate a lot of blood flow right or mars will be influencing 12th house lord more strongly which will indicate expenditure because of boys expenditure because of fights expenditure because of litigations etc what it will indicate now in this particular scenario i told you mars is having an upward aspect and i have also told you that capricorn being in hind rising sign upward is between 20 degree to 30 degree and here sun in the fifth house is situated at 15 degrees only so the result of Mars is going more to the fifth house, which will indicate delay in childbirth, problems related to childbirth, miscarriage, etc. And the result is not going to sun. So because of which loss of money, because of litigations, etc. is generally not indicated. Now it does not mean that the native will land into litigation, keeping in mind that I am not having combination to lose wealth through litigation. So I will not lo lose it. That is not the point. The point is that because Mars is not influencing the 12th Lord, generally the person will not be, you know, false. The person will not be forcibly dragged into litigations, which will also force him to lose money into litigations, right? This is what it means. So accordingly, it have to be understood. Mars is a violent planet and Mars indicates violence. Whichever house Mars is connected with, whichever planet Mars is connected with, violence related to those house and those planets can be experienced by the native right or native can be violent towards those people who is signified by those houses and planets right so this is all this also should be understood by mars apart from that whether the native is courageous or not if mars is powerful native is courageous if mars is not powerful native is not courageous right this should be understood disease is also analyzed from mars so whichever planet mars is connected with one is susceptible to having diseases related to that planet, proper care should be taken. The character of the native and the good qualities of the native should also be understood by Mars. So whichever Rashi Mars is situated in, whichever planet Mars is connected with, native generally shows good and great character, good and great qualities related to the planet who are connected with Mars in whose Rashi Mars is situated there. Younger brothers are also indicated by Mars and generally when Mars is powerful, it will indicate that native have younger siblings. Lands are also indicated by Mars. When Mars is powerful, one will have many lands also. Mars also indicates enemies. A strong Mars will indicate one have many enemies. That also means that the native is successful because apparently only successful people have enemies as such. So that is also indicated. And apart from that, if Mars is connected to any house, it also indicates enmity from that person. So you say if Mars is connected to seventh house, the life partner can also be inimical towards the native. This result will not come to pass if Mars is positive. But otherwise, if Mars is negative, then this result will come to pass for sure. Blood relatives are indicated by Mars. The strength of the body is indicated by Mars. Products derived from Earth is indicated by Mars. Quality, nature, behavior of siblings is indicated by Mars. Cruelty, battle, daring acts, odium, kitchen, fire, gold are indicated by Mars. Kindred weapons are indicated by Mars. Thieves, theft is indicated by Mars. Energy is indicated by Mars. Being attached with female, females which are not your own, being attached with the wife of others is also indicated by Mars. Telling lies is indicated by Mars. Physical power is indicated by Mars. Mental dignity is indicated by Mars. Committing sins is indicated by Mars. Having an army, many people to support you. Having people who can do who can do anything, just because you have told you you have told them to do it, is also indicated by Mars. Wounds and attacks are also indicated by Mars. That should be understood. And Mars is also the significator of third house and sixth house. So whenever you are analyzing third house and sixth house in horoscope, don't forget to analyze Mars also. If Saturn is very powerful in horoscope, then generally Saturn will take the afflictions of Mars as well. So you say if Saturn and Mars both are weak in horoscope or you want to do remedy for both, then first do remedy for Saturn because as Saturn becomes powerful, Mars will also become powerful. So any affliction, any problem created by Mars can be eradicated by Saturn. This also should be understood by a particular way that if a house is influenced by Saturn and Mars both, 
and Mars is trying to disturb the house, whereas Saturn is wanting to save the house, then because Saturn rules over Mars, the result of Saturn will dominate and Mars will not be able to create harm related to that particular house. So in this way, also, it should be understood this ruled by this planet can have multiple implications. I always say astrology is a intellectual science. One will have to use that intelligence. So ruled by Saturn can have multiple implications. I have mentioned this thing before also next videos. I will also mention it that ruled by this planet there. I will tell you one more uses of what, what it means to be ruled by. Before that, you write in the comment section that Mars being ruled by Saturn, this signification can be used this way also. And let's see if someone gets the right answer or what. Right. So this ruled by can be used in multiple things. Right. Before this, I told you that ruled by means that if this I, this I told in previous videos related to sun and moon also. That ruled by means if Saturn and Mars both are weak in the horoscope and you want to do remedy, then you can only do the remedy of Saturn and because Saturn rules Mars, Mars will automatically be good. Now I am telling you that suppose Mars and Saturn both are influencing a particular house, you say Mars is in the seventh house and Saturn is also in the seventh house. Saturn is the seventh Lord itself. Whereas Mars is the Lord of a bad house. So what will be there? It will be bad marriage or it will be good marriage. Now, because Mars is the, uh, because Saturn is seventh Lord itself in the seventh house and Saturn rules over Mars, Saturn will make sure that the marital life is good, though Mars can create some disturbances in marital life, but because Saturn will rule over Mars, more or less, the result will be good only. Or the result of Saturn will only be there because Saturn along with being the seventh Lord will either be the sixth Lord or be the eighth Lord. So in that scenario, also it is bad, right? But at least the result of Mars, he will control. Right? This is how it should be understood. On Tuesdays, Mars is powerful. In On Navamsh, Aries is Scorpio. Mars is, Mars is powerful. Mars is powerful. In On Drekan, Aries is Scorpio. Mars is powerful. In Aries, Scorpio, Aquarius, Capricorn, Rashi. Aries, Rashi also. Mars is powerful. If someone is born in night time, then also Mars is powerful. When retrograde, Mars is also powerful. In fact, in Cancer also, Mars makes you prosperous, though not powerful, but in Cancer, Mars makes the native prosperous. And if Mars is getting strength from other factors while being in Cancer, say being Varguttam or Cancer is in the 10th house, or if Mars is retrograde in Cancer, then in that particular scenario, it indicates great results as well. It indicates very, very great results. Apart from this, when Mars is situated in the second house, it is told to be barren of effects. It is told to be useless. So if Mars is going into second house, first of all, what it does that whatever good or bad combinations that he's making in horoscope, that combinations it can make ineffective. Right. So this is also something that have to be kept in mind. Any problems that are being created by Rahu, Saturn and Mercury that can be taken care of by Mars. Right. So you say if Rahu, Saturn and Mercury, all three planets are afflicted or if all these three planets are creating problems related to a particular house, then one can do remedy related to Mars and that will take care of it. Now you see, if only Mars and Saturn are problematic, then do remedy related to Saturn, it will control Mars. But Mars, Saturn, Rahu, Mercury, all four of them are problematic, then do remedy related to Mars, it will be able to control all of them. Right. This is the difference that you will have to understand. Swelling of any body parts, problem related to phlegm, getting hurt by weapons, getting hurt by fire, having no naughty tumors, having boils, diseases of digestion and other such problems are signified by Mars when Mars is afflicted in horoscope, when Mars is connected to 6th house or 8th house or 6th lord or 8th lord, these problems are generally there. Right. So if these problems are there, which is generally activated in the Dashantartasha of Mars or in the Dashantartasha of planet connected by Mars, then remedy related to Mars should be done. Places where thieves live or gather, places where people who are doing lowly deeds, drinking alcohol, beating their life partners, etc. Places where these people live or meet. Battlefield and places related to fire are signified by Mars. So when one is going to do remedy related to Mars, they can do at these places. Right. If Mars is signifying something, say Mars is signifying meeting from life partner by being the Rashi Lord of the seventh, by being the Rashi Lord of the seventh Lord, then one can meet their life partner at these places also. Abap, you can ask, sir, 
you are saying a place where thieves gather so how can i meet my life partner there are bhai i am saying the places where thieves gather i am not saying the places where thieves have currently gathered that that is the point and thieves gather at this place there is no demarcation of this place right at no place it is written that thieves please assemble here right so you should understand that this is a place where generally bad people gather you say at a pub or places where alcohol is served so generally you see that bad people come there you can meet their life partner there it does not mean that it will be flogged by bad people at that point of time also when you meet them right so proper intelligence should be used while doing vedic astrology because vedic astrology is for mentally strong people for mentally weak people other systems of astrology is there they may practice that regarding people and significations mars signifies cooks arm bearers gold smith right this ram male goat hen jackal monkey vulture and thieves are indicated by mars right so if mars is creating wounds if mars is indicating wounds and attacks and death it can happen because of these animals and people if you want to do remedy etc related to mars then it should be done by these people for example if you want to remedy mars you go to a restaurant you can give some tip to the cook that will remedy the mars because mars indicate cooks arm bearer generally if you see a security personnel who is having arm or weapon with them you can give them some tip this will make the arm make the mars positive right you can frequently visit goldsmith to purchase gold right to purchase gemstones etc or if someone from your family is going there you can accompany them this will also activate and strengthen mars right so this way intelligently the signification should be used to remedy mars mars also indicate younger brothers whether one will have younger brothers or not should be decided by the strength or weakness of mars apart from that if mars is positive if mars is giving you gains then the gain will be to younger brothers right the qualities nature behavior character of the younger brother should also be signified by mars and planets connected by mars whichever planet is connected to mars that nature behavior tendency will be very prominent in the nature behavior of younger brother mars indicate eyesight so when mars is powerful one will generally have good eyesight whereas when mars is weak one can lose their eyesight early in life one will have to use glasses in grains mars is generally indicate dal or pulses so donation of pulses eating more of pulses will activate mars more often will make the mars powerful if mars is connected to ascendant then generally in the right side of the back there will be birth mark right this should be used for rectification thorny trees bitter trees like lemon trees are indicated by mars so planting these trees taking care of these trees is good right having leaves or stem of these trees in your home using furniture and other things artifacts made by the stem of these trees will also be beneficial it will strengthen mars it will rectify mars right mars is exalted at 28 degrees of capricorn debilitated at 28 degrees of cancer and is in his mool trigon rashi between 0 to 12 degrees in aries rashi right out of the 10 incarnations of lord lord vishnu lord narasimha is indicated by mars so going to narasimha temple and worshiping god lord narasimha will also strengthen the mars in your horse right so these significations that i told you you can use to remedy mars using these significations you can remedy mars and when you see mars connected to any house or any planet you should use these significations to make predictions related to those houses and planets which will make you a better predictor as compared to 90% of the astrologers in the world right thank you